Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today's puzzle is Tesla Coils by Philip Newman. This was originally posted in GAS on Thursday, July 11th, 2024. And this is a thermo and German whispers Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules. So digits in each row, each column, and each three by three region have to have exactly one set of one through nine once each. On top of that, we have some thermometers. So the digits along a thermometer have to increase starting from the round end and going up to the tip. And we also have some green German whispers lines. And along a German whispers line, any pair of digits that's next to each other on the line has to have a difference of five or more. So along this line, these two digits are next to each other. We could have two and seven because that has a difference of five. We could have two and nine because that's a difference of more than five but we would not be allowed to have, say, five and nine, because in that case, the difference is only four, which does not work. So I'm going to start by using a feature of Sudoku Pad that's kind of fun. Oh, for some reason, it's not working for me. It might have something to do with how this puzzle was imported. But I am going to go ahead and enter my pencil marks into these thermometers. These thermometers have two degrees of freedom, and the way that I know that very quickly is by looking at them and observing that they are two shorter than the maximum possible length, which would be nine cells. So that introduces two degrees of freedom to them. And so in each cell, I cannot just have one possible value. I have to have two more values than that. So I have to have a total of three options, three pencil marks. So what eliminations can I make here? The thing that jumps out at me first is these cells, because you can't ever have a five on German Whispers line at all, because there are no digits in Sudoku that have a difference of five or more from five. So I can eliminate five from these right away. And I'm going to get to do some more eliminations in a minute, but here, because that can't be five and this has to be less, it can't be four, therefore this can't be three. Similarly, this can't be five, therefore, because this has to be more, that can't be six, that can't be seven. Now, if I look here, whatever digit is in this cell has to have two digits that both have a difference of five from that number. And they see each other, they're in the same column. So this can't be a four, because if this was a four, the only digit that is five away from four is nine, and that would mean both of these had to be nines, which is broken. So this is, in fact, a three. And the two digits that have a difference of five from three are eight and nine. That's a difference of five and a difference of six. I'm also going to eliminate five here and make some deductions from that and eliminate five here as well. I get to make the same deduction here because this cell has to see two numbers that are at least five away from it. But so it can't be six because then these would both have to be ones because the only number that ever gets to go next to a six on a German whisper is a one. So this is not going to be six. It is in fact going to be seven with a one, two pair. That'll now be an eight and a nine. So now if we look at these cells, and this is a rotationally symmetrical puzzle, so we're going to be making a lot of deductions twice, once on each corner of the puzzle. These numbers also have to be next to two things on a German whisper, but this can't be eight or nine because we already have both eight and nine accounted for in the column. So two will be next to seven, can't be next to six because six is only four away from two. Similarly, this is going to be a three. I can also just do some Sudoku here because there's a two in this row now. This is now a three and a four, and this can't be a five because it's on a German whisper, so this is a six. And because there's an eight in this row, this is now a seven and a six, and this can't be a five because it's on a German whisper, so it's a four. Six has to be next to one, so that's a one and a two. Four has to be next to nine, so that is a nine and an eight. And now that I have four and six in this row, this is going to be a five. Okay, whatever goes here has to be next to this number, which is either three or four. So if it's three, then this could be eight or nine. And if it's four, this is definitely nine. But because there's an eight in the row, we know it's not eight no matter what, so this is nine. For similar reasoning based on this digit, this could either be a one or a two, but there's a two in the row, therefore this is definitely a one. Now let's take a look at these two regions because these are starting to fill in. I have one, two, four, six, and seven, so I still need three, five, eight, and nine. 
3 and 8 can't be in these two cells, so that leaves me only two cells remaining. 3 and 8 are going to go there. These will be 5 and 9, my remaining two numbers. 5 can't be in the German Whisper, so that's a 9, that's a 5. Therefore, this is at least 5 away from 9. It can't be a 1, it can't be a 4, so it's a 2 or a 3. So this is certainly not a 3. It has to be pretty far away from 2 or 3, so this will be an 8. That's a 3, that's a 2. Similar deductions over here. I still need 1, 2, 5, and 7. 2 and 7 can't go in these cells, so they go here, and because of this 2, now I know exactly where they go. And these will have to be 1 and 5. 5 can't go in the German Whisper, so that's a 1, that is a 5. So I can pencil in these three digits now. These are 1, 6, and 7. I know exactly what this is. This can only be an 8 to finish the row. I can eliminate 1 here, by the way, which places my 1 there. And these three digits are going to be 3, 4, and 9. I can't have a 9 there, therefore this is going to be a 9. Whatever this is has to be at least 5 away from 1, and it can't be an 8 or a 9, so it is a 6 or a 7. 7 already appears in the row, so this will be a 6. That's a 7, that's a 6. And that's, there's, there are other reasons that that's going to be a 6 as well. Um, but we'll just take the reason that we have here. Okay, so up here, this number is at least 5 away from 9. It's not a 1, 2, or 3, so it is a 4, which makes this also a 9. Oh, and this is also a 1 because it's next to the 6. I have a 1 in this row, making this a 2. I have a 9 in this row, making this an 8. Let's work on finishing off some of these whisper lines. Because this is a 6, this number has to be at least 5 away from it, so this can only be a 1. This number has to be at least 5 away from 7, so it can only be a 2. And this number has to be at least 5 away from 8, it can't be a 1 or a 2, therefore it is a 3. This number has to be at least 5 away from 3, it can't be an 8, so it is a 9. So my 5 in the column goes there. And I can fill out the last two digits in this column, 4 and 6 in that order, thanks to the 4 that is already in this row. So these are now 3, 8, and 9. That's not a 3, that's not a 9. These are now 4, 5, and 6. That's not a 6. Okay, what is next? There's a 4 here, making that a 3 and making that a 4. This 4 right there on the whisper makes that a 9. This is now an 8, this is a 7, and this will be a 1. And then I'm going to place a 5 down here. I can eliminate 8 from this cell at this point because of the 8 in the row. These digits will be 4, 5, and 6. This can't be 4 or 6, so it's a 5. And I can finish this row thanks to the 9 that I just placed here. And I can also finish that region. This 4 gives me a 6 and a 4. These digits will be a 5 and a 6 there. So that's a 6, that makes this my 5, and that makes this my 6. These will be 2, 3, and 8. I have a 2 and 3 in the columns, so that's an 8. And that's dealt with. Now here I have a 2-3 pair. The only remaining digit in the column is going to be an 8. In this column, my remaining digits are 4 and 6. There's a 6 there, so they go in this order, and then the 4 resolves that. And then I need to place a 3 in row 7. It can only go here. That's my last digit in row 7. That's a 2. I need to place a 1 in this region. It can only go here. That's going to be a 7. The 6 makes this a 4 and makes this a 6. These are going to be 2 and 7, so that's a 2, that's a 7, uh, this is a 4 and a 5, this is a 3 and a 2 by Sudoku. And now we're done solving Philip Newman's Tesla coils. Hope you enjoyed that highly symmetrical puzzle. I like um, both German whispers and thermometers. I'm not sure how much I've really seen them combined before, but the thermometer kind of has an interesting effect on the German whispers by forcing some digits to be high or low, which is very significant to German whispers puzzles as well. I enjoyed that combination. So I hope you liked that too. If you want to solve it yourself, the link to do so is in the description of this video, and I will catch you next time.